Welcome back to COEP M-Tech Admission Counseling by GK Rocket COEP. The world's fastest growing industries are the electronic system design and manufacturing industries and this continues to transform lives, businesses and economies across the globe. The global economics market is estimated over and over and India's share in the global electronics manufacturing has grown up to the 3% in 2018. You all know that Bangalore is the capital of electronics in India and you will be the glad one if you got the job in this field. So today I am going to introduce you MTech in VLS and Embedded System at COEP. Yeah. Today we have Mr. Neil Madhav with us. He just passed out student from the CVP. He also has placed in Hela Automotive Pune, and he will introduce you MTech in VLS Embedded System at CVP. So welcome, Mr. Neil Madhav. Hello everyone. My name is Neil Madhav, and I have completed my masters in VLS Embedded Systems from CVP 2020 batch. CVP is a very good college to do your masters. VLS and Embedded System is a very unique branch. Generally, in different colleges, VLS and Embedded Systems are two different specialization. But in COEP, specifically, these two different specialization is merged together, and the topics that are taught is focused on industries. In second semester, many industry experts also come to COEP campus and teach us different subjects and share their industry knowledge also. I have learned a lot of things in COEP. Food is also very good in the mess, so that is a plus point. Generally, VLS and Embedded System is a tough branch, and it requires a lot of skills and expertise. Industry experts expects a required amounts of skills in the candidates. A two years of experience holder can have ten years of expertise, and a ten year experience holder can have two years of expertise. And the and in VLS and Embedded Systems, only expertise matter. And expert and you cannot get expertise with two years of experience. No college in the world can teach you VLSI or embedded systems in two years. This is a gradual step. You can learn this subject gradually, and it is important what you do after your M Tech to learn. So, if you get a chance to do your masters in COEP, please go ahead. Have a genuine interest, and all the best for your career. Thank you. Thank you, Neil. Thank you so much for the guiding your juniors. Apart from the topics discussed by the Neil, I would like to uh, discuss some few more points. Like uh, VLS and Embedded System is one of the top class branch of the Electronics Department, and the cutoff of this branch is highest among all four, four branches of the Electronics. Intake capacity of this branch is 18. Among these 18, 14 are the regular and four seats are for the sponsored category. There is benefit of internship at Hela Automotive as well as Seagate and XP Semiconductor. Forisia, Philips, and many more companies, because these companies are frequently visiting to the COEP for the internship purpose. This is specialization where you can uh, balance academic, your uh, research activities, extracurricular and co-curricular activities as well. Many extracurricular activities like guest lectures, seminars, technical events are happening around the campus under this department. This branch is very good in the perspective of the internship and placement opportunities, and uh, mostly jobs of VLSI domain are in Bangalore, and uh, for embedded domain it is in Pune. So it is not it is not like choosing VLSI and embedded, as Neil have discussed that VLSI and embedded merge together in the CVP. So furthermore, we'll discuss cut off of this branch. The cut off for the regular student is as follow. In a cap round one, cutoff was declared, and uh, it was 538 for the open, 511 for the OBC, 499 for the SBC, 380 for the NT3, 403 for the SC, 338 for the ST, and 5 584 for the EWS. So uh, we can see here that uh, the cutoff for the e- EWS has went beyond the uh, open also. In a cap round two, there might not be the NT3 student and uh, ST student, so cutoff only changed uh, for the open category, and it was 496, uh, 453 for the OBC, 560 for the SBC, 
एंड थ्री सेवेंटी सिक्स फॉर दी एस सी कैटेगरी फाइव नाइन फोर नाइन्टी सिक्स फॉर दी पी डब्ल्यू डी ओपन कैंडिडेट एंड थ्री फिफ्टी थ्री फॉर दी ई डब्ल्यू एस कैंडिडेट हेयर अगेन इट डिक्रीज ड्रास्टिकली एंड इन अ कैप राउंड थ्री ओनली कट ऑफ ओनली चेंज फॉर दी एस सी कैटेगरी दैट इज थ्री फिफ्टी एंड फॉर दी ओपन पी डब्ल्यू डी कैंडिडेट इट वॉज फोर नाइन्टी टू सो समरी इज If you are belonging to open category, at least you should have score near to 500. And uh, for the OBC, it should have 450. For the SCBC candidate, you should have at least 500 score. And likewise for the all the categories, you can see here. Cut off for the sponsor student. I have already discussed in my all videos about sponsor category student, so I will not discuss here. I will directly go to the cut off for the cap round one. Cut off was sixty six point eighteen percentage. In a cap round two, what happened? Seats are allocated to the sponsored to non sponsored candidate, and cut off was four ninety two. And in a cap round three, cut off was remains same. So this was all about the cut off of VLS and embedded system, and this cut off was from the twenty nineteen batch. Uh, so go through this cut off list and uh, take your decision wisely. the fee structure fee structure remains same as that of all branches like uh, 114000 for the first year and 119000 for the second year totally it becomes 223000 so education loan support is provided by the coep and i repeat that fees is yearly and not the semester like 114000 for the first year of your mtech And one lakh and nine thousand for the second year of your M Tech, and not accordingly semester. Some boys were making confusion in semester and year, so fees is according to the year and not the semester. Okay. So next is facility of the VLSI and embedded system. There is special study room provided and separate computer lab as well. Uh, computer lab is twenty four into seven open, and the uh, key is given to the uh, one of the student and student in charge. So you can work in the night also. Lab facilities are best for the VLSI project and better for the embedded project. And there is huge support. for the research work and coep does funding for the paper publications also so a good chances of internship at hello automotive so assignment and presentation based exams so don't worry uh, exams are very easy you don't need to mug up the things and write in the paper well exposed environment to learn recent technologies uh, in the embedded and vlsi domain and there are industry experts and guest lectures and seminars happening uh, frequently in the department the so course structure uh, taking fast forward course structure of this uh, embedded and vlsi uh, the course structure of vlsi and embedded system is like uh, it uh, 20 the course structure of vlsi the course structure the course structure of vlsi and embedded system is like uh, 68 credits are required to get the degree of vlsi and embedded system and uh, it covers all the areas like mathematics bridge courses elective course learning course core courses laboratory interdisciplinary liberal self learning and skill based courses so These two years are divided in four semester. In the first semester, total credits are twenty-two, and uh, there are some important subjects which can help you in the internship interviews, like programming, programming for the embedded machine learning, RTL, simulation and synthesis, microcontroller architecture. This is very important subject. You can give you a full interview on the microcontroller architecture subject. Uh, guys if you are selected in hela intern uh, they provide their own subject that uh, automotive embedded product and development in a semester 2 to, total credits are given 22 mini projects uh, are not compulsory but if you are willing to do mini project or something you can do as per your interest important subjects are the vlsi design verification and testing uh this subject is very good uh for the interview point of view internet of things important subject embedded system and securities and there are some ioc and llc subject are provided in this semester i have already discussed about ioc and llc subject in my last videos 
combining semester 1 and semester 2 you will complete your first year of your mtech in a second year there are again 12 credits are given for the semester 3 and semester 4 and uh, one main project throughout the year and you have to choose your 12 week online course on nptl as per your interest and choice so this was all about the course structure course structure is very good little bit busy and uh, happy learning type uh, main important thing is placement uh, firstly we'll go to internship uh, there are minimum 50 percent students allowed to go for the internship and uh, if more are selected if more than 50 percent selected then it depends on the guides mindset that if guide allowed you to go for internship you can go otherwise you have to do project in the college every year 7 plus minus student got the internship out of 14 because 4 seats are the uh, from the sponsor category and they are not allowed to internship and placement type of activity and uh, the problem is uh, here is no guarantee of the ppo because uh, companies provides good stipend like 20k or 30k and package is also huge in 2019 batch 13 students were placed out of 14 students so this is like 90 percent placement in vls and embedded system and uh, the placement scenario of this year is like uh, uh, seven student placed in the core out of 14 and three student placed in pure it and uh, four student not get their offer at because of this pandemic situation in this way 50% uh, student placed in core 21% are placed in pure IT and 28% student not get there so average package is 7 lakh per annum and highest package was 12 lakh per annum and two student got this package this year so you can be a student who can also grab the 12 lakh per annum but you have to work on yourself the pros and cons of this branch is uh, as like everything has some positive point and negative point the first point is vls and embedded system is top class branch of the electronics and you can be a confident with choosing this branch if you are completing mtech in vls and embedded system you will have a good scope in foreign after your three to four years of experience in india it is also high package providing branch and your package may be 10 lakh plus next point is very good professional growth in the perspective of personal as well as economical also because there is a, a good hike after switching the job in the vls and embedded system the cons are like individual projects are given in the industry and there is no more teamwork uh, suitable for this field and that is why you need to be a technically sound and uh, that is why you need to be a technically sound and uh, need to continuous in touch with the technical things after getting a job also one more point is uh, vls and embedded system is tough to gain difficult to understand many things you have to uh, counsel yourself again and again you have to do self-study again and again so these are some pros and cons but overall branch is very good uh, students are getting very good job in good companies so you can choose this branch confidently so this was all about the mtech in vls and embedded system at coep thank you so much see you in coep join my whatsapp group join my telegram channel i will be there to discuss every point with you comment box is open for you raise your doubts feel free to contact me anytime anywhere